Yeah, yeah. So all, all the MVPs that we did, I mean, this is before the XPRIZE was announced. We were already trying, trying to create our MVP. And, uh, uh, and, and Fabric, again, soft goods is such a tricky thing. Um, you know, and, um, it, it, and, and, and Fabric just got their Barry compliance, which allows you to sell to government agencies. So that's like the official government made in the USA check. Some, some police department, some military, Air Force, whatever, they require that. Because Fabric won a contract for, for gowns, for PPE gowns. Um, uh, they had to get this Barry compliance. Well, I talked to them a year before about Barry compliance on a, a military uh, backpack, and they didn't know anything about it. And they weren't helpful, they couldn't participate. You know, but then they needed to get that Barry compliance for uh, the, the Made in the USA stamp for their, the gowns once, once COVID hit and they, they were providing gowns to the government. And so, uh, you know, but anyhow, it's soft goods is, is tricky. And they were great to work with back and forth. Uh, and, and there's going to be iterations. I mean, there's so, so, so many iterations and tweaking and adjusting. And you don't know what you don't know, especially with that mask design. I mean, we had like that, that first concept that we patented, but from, from you know, and, and the product we make is covered by the patent, but, um, you know, I mean, really executing on that design is, uh, it's tricky, you know, lots, and, and fabric, I think soft goods is, is, is particularly difficult, uh, but um, by contrary, the, the, the Saber Pack, you know, the only iterations we went there was really about getting our manufacturing cost down. So, I mean, we had the 99% solution. My prototype was, I, I put it together in 10 minutes in my kitchen. You know, I mean, I had the idea and it's basically the same product. 